Welcome to today's presentation. In this video, we are going to talk about an application of differentiation, that is maxima and minima. The question we are going to tackle today reads, find the base radius R of a cylindrical hole with maximum volume, which can be drilled into a cone of height 16 centimeters and radius 12 centimeters as shown. So we have a cone whose base radius is 12 centimeters and height 16 centimeters. And then a cylindrical hole is to be drilled into the cone. Let's have the base radius of the hole as R and the height H. The task here is to find the base radius R of the cylindrical hole that will give us a maximum volume of the hole. So the first thing, the volume for a cylinder, that is a cylindrical hole, is given as pi r squared h. Now, because we are required to find the base radius that will give us the maximum volume of the hole, that is a cylindrical hole, we are required to express the volume v in terms of the radius alone. So we are going to have this h here expressed in terms of r, and that we will achieve by considering the following. In this diagram, we should take note that we have two similar cones. That is the bigger cone of base radius 12 centimeters and the smaller cone whose base radius is R. Similarly, the height of the bigger cone is 16 centimeters and we can determine the height of the smaller cone by getting the difference between the height of the bigger cone and the height of the cylinder. That is this height here, which is 16 centimeters minus h. So we have 16 minus h. Now we're going to apply similarity. So by similarity, we'll have the linear scale factor that is the ratio of the corresponding lengths of the two similar solids, will have the base radius of the bigger cone, which is 12 centimeters, over the base radius of the smaller cone, which is R. That should be equal to the height of the bigger cone, that is 16, over the height of the smaller cone, which is 16 minus H. We can also have it the other way. If you decide to have the information about the smaller cone over the bigger cone, we can still use that approach, but make sure that you maintain it throughout the working. Here, we are going to cross multiply. So when we cross multiply, we will have 192 minus 12 H is equal to 16 R. That is, 12 by 16 is 192, 12 by negative h is negative 12 h, and then on the right hand side we have 16 by r, which is 16 r. Now making h the subject here, we'll have 192 minus 16 r over 12, and simplifying further, h becomes 16 minus 4 over 3 r. Now already we have an expression of h in terms of r, which we are going to replace in this equation here. So this equation here will become volume is equal to pi r squared h, and h is now 16 minus 4 over 3 r, so we have 16 minus 4 over 3 r. Expanding the right hand side, we'll have pi r squared times 16 minus pi r squared times 4 over 3 r and that is v is equal to 16 pi r squared minus 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Remember we are required to determine the base radius r that would give us maximum volume. So for maximum volume the derivative of the volume v with respect to r that is the base radius should be equal to zero. That is dv dr is equal to zero. So we are going to differentiate this equation here 
that is the derivative of v with respect to r differentiating the first term of the right hand side of this equation that is 16 pi r squared will have 32 pi r and then the second term we will have minus 4 pi r squared and then we equate to 0 so is equal to 0. We notice here that the common factor is 4 pi r so dividing by 4 pi r we are going to have 8 minus r is equal to 0. So that finally the base radius r is 8 centimeters just as had been desired in the equation. And that is how we go about this question. I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please ensure that you subscribe and inform friends by sharing the links to this video so that we learn together. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.